There are more than 250 proposed bills in at least 43 states that are aimed at restricting access to the ballot. It's being called the new Jim Crow. Growing backlash over the controversial new voting law in the state of Georgia, critics of that law say it amounts to voter suppression. Georgia's Republican governor has just signed a sweeping new law aimed at making it harder for people in his state to vote. Is this all voter suppression in action? Clearly, the, the broadest attempt to make it more difficult for Americans to vote since the Jim Crow era before the Voting Rights Act. Democrats call it voter suppression, saying that those ID requirements, new limits on Dropbox usage, and banning anyone except a poll worker from offering water to voters in line all restrict access to the ballot. Jim Crow 2.0 is about two insidious things, voter suppression, an election subversion. It's not hyperbole, this is a fact. Who could have possibly guessed that all the hyperbolic, over-the-top propaganda from Democrats and their media mouthpieces about the Georgia voting laws would turn out to be complete horseshit? After a year's worth of insane fear-mongering that probably instilled a racial paranoia that will last for generations, we come to find out that instead of voter suppression, we're seeing record voter turnout. As usually seems to be the case, when Democrats and their media mouthpieces make claims, especially when they're on the hyperbolic side, expect the opposite. Check out the big brain on bread. We're going to get right into this clip, but first, give me just a few seconds to tell you about this special I'm having right now over at preparewithdronetech.com. Friends, the world is in serious danger right now. Inflation is causing food prices to skyrocket. The global supply chain continues to collapse, and the coming food shortages will be worse than anything we've lived through. In times like these, what should you do? Go to preparewithdronetech.com and invest in long-term food storage from My Patriot Supply while you still can. Go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $150 on every three-month food kit. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Protect your family and secure this emergency food today. Preparewithdronetech.com. So that brings us to the bulbous election denier, Stacey Abrams, who was confronted about this historic voter turnout, which flies in the face of her previous unfounded claims that black men and women were being intentionally kept from voting. The question about voter suppression and voter turnout is causation without correlation. We, I'm oh, sorry, you can make mistakes even when you know what you're talking about. Excuse me, what? It's correlation without causation. We know that increased turnout has nothing to do with suppression. We know that increased turnout has nothing to do with suppression. Excuse me, what? Oh, did I just have a stroke? Or did she just claim that the largest voter turnout in Georgia history doesn't mean voters aren't being suppressed? So this is gonna be the next big gaslighting session we see for the week. Instead, we'll just claim that it proves nothing and also double down on attaching the most monstrously racist thoughts and beliefs to Republicans. I think took access uh, absolutely because of, of, a, of a lie, but also I would say that there also is racism in there and the racism is a lie, right? right? Right, exactly. It's like the lie and racism, which is a lie, which is that these black people don't they don't deserve the access to, to citizenship in the way that other americans do that they haven't worked for that they don't that they don't understand sort of the the weight of american democracy and as a result we need to make decisions for them I I should have let you, what the fuck? Every single thing she just said there is either a figment of her imagination or just flat out disinformation. What Republicans have said any of the things she just claimed and how did she infer any of this from voter ID laws? Laws that black Americans overwhelmingly support and we now know are not keeping them from voting. Who is it here that doesn't think people can think for themselves and think politicians have to make decisions for them? Okay, well, I've had my full of these lying scumbags. Please share this video, slam that like, button and subscribe. Also leave a comment to let me know what you think about all this. Thanks a lot. <laughs>